a little late to be videoing, sun sunwise. Uh, let's see if we can get a shot here. It's pretty cool looking. Let the moon out, and we got our little. I don't know what to call these things, little solar lights. <clears throat> we put those up to prevent the lawn guys from mowing some little thing Ellie planted there. I forget what it is exactly, some class project. She planted it in the front yard, which I don't really get why you'd plant it in the front yard, but you know, I don't get to make the rules around here anymore. <clears throat> Actually, I don't think I ever did. So who out there remembers long distance phone calls? <clears throat> Kid. My parents, one of my father worked for a place that was an oil company. They had these things called Watts lines. I don't know what that meant. But they you could uh, every like Tuesday night or something you could go in and they would let the employees make long distance phone calls. So you, you'd go sit in line, and I remember sitting there several you know Tuesdays or whatever it was in a row. <clears throat> and we would sit there and wait. And we'd get our 20, 30 minutes or whatever, to, you know, well, not even 20, 30 minutes. It was like 10 minutes. You got 10 minutes of free long-distance phone calls. You'd call anywhere you wanted to in the continental U.S. And we would call my mom's family in Pennsylvania and talk to them. We'd call around to my dad's family in Kansas. And we're down here in Houston. <clears throat> and I'm sitting there thinking, you know, how much money did we save, really, on those long-distance calls? Well, you know, it, it wasn't that long-distance was particularly expensive. It was just it pissed you off to pay it. Because even by the 70s, people kind of realized that the whole concept of having to pay long distance phone call was bullshit. Because I remember my, my parents complaining about it, saying, you know, it's the same information going through the same switch. It costs them more to keep track of it than it does to just, you know, put the phone call through. And it wasn't until the 2000s, and the late 90s, 2000s, that I noticed a lot of uh, cell phone systems giving you basically free or included long distance. <laughs> but I mean, it used to be such a—it used to be such a thing. You'd go through the phone bill. Okay, why is the phone bill more? You would look at the long-distance phone calls. Who made a phone call to so and so? I hate them. You know. <laughs> now you don't even bother looking at it because you know it's all included in the price. You don't pay attention now how much you, how much you how much time you spend on the phone. I've looked at my phone bill recently, and I had like 20 minutes of phone calls all together on an entire month. <laughs> And it's like, well, you know, I'm the one that they should have been giving unlimited time to this all this time. <clears throat> now Google's come out with this, uh, what is it, FI? Uh, it's FI system or something like that. I don't really know what the hell I'm like. $20 a month. I mean, this is a little, correct me if I'm wrong, but the, the way I read this, $20 a month base plus $10 per gigabyte for data. And they split up the data, so if you only use half a gigabyte, you only pay for half a gigabyte. You use three gigabytes, you pay 30 bucks for the three gigabytes. Which is cool, except I want to pay a dollar a gigabyte. <laughs> and I want to replace my home internet with it. That's what I want. Okay, so get on that, Google. You're a little, you're a little behind the times. <clears throat> but you can't even get into it yet. They, they're all about this whole invitation bullshit. And I'm reading somewhere you can only get it on their phone right now. And that's all, that's all crap. That's going to change. But I just don't know when or how long it's going to take. I, I guess they want, they, they want to make it rare at first. Because I will sign up for the damn thing. I will definitely sign up for it. Because I, I love, would love paying 20 bucks a month for my phone. Plus, you know, what, 5 bucks for the amount of data that I use on it. That would definitely be good for me. Uh, we'll, see how, we'll see how it all pans out, though. Not if they're going to force me to get their hardware. Uh, I'll just stick with whatever I've got now, which is T-Mobile, which doesn't suck. And honestly, the prices aren't really all that far off of what Google's offering. It's just they don't break it up and give you, a, give you, charge you less every month if you don't use it all, which is I don't know, kind of cool. But like I said, I want to I want to replace my home internet uh, with something, and uh, this ain't it. So. But yeah, I'm hoping in about you know 10 years from now, we look back on this in the same way that we used to look upon. Uh, we used to look upon long distance calls like wow can you believe we used to pay $50 a month for, for internet can you believe we used to pay $200 a month for cable <laughs> now our whole entertainment you know, our whole entertainment comes in for less than that you know, we're getting it off saddle bouncing it off satellites now and not worrying about it because it's just cheaper that way and not caring it would be awesome just to, and to look back on this in a, in a reasonable amount of time and think wow we, I can't believe we used to pay that much 